Well, it is tornado season, so now a good time to have a plan in place on what you would do if a tornado threatened your area. Let's take a look at the damage that tornadoes can do. Now, tornadoes are ranked on the F scale or Fujita scale, which is based on the amount of damage that a tornado actually does. Recently, that scale has been enhanced. It's been altered a little bit. So now we call it the EF scale. And an EF zero tornado, these are the most common tornadoes that we see. EF zero tornadoes are the weakest of the tornadoes since we go from EF zero to EF five. If an EF zero tornado would hit your house, and those typically have winds of 65 to 86 miles an hour, you might have some shingles peeled off the house, damage to gutters, maybe a little damage to your siding. There could be power outages. Big trees can have the branches broken off. So you get some tree damage with these EF zero tornadoes. But generally speaking, if you're in your home, if you're away from windows, you're gonna be okay. However, as the tornadoes get stronger, so does the damage. So now we look at an EF1 tornado, 86 to 110 mile an hour winds with an EF1 tornado. You might see trees uprooted, especially smaller trees. Power poles, they can come down. Usually the trees are what helps to bring those down. Your windows in your house can actually break because debris can be thrown at your windows and you can see significant roof damage as well with these EF1 tornadoes. Now we jump up to an EF2 tornado. An EF2 tornado has winds from 111 to 135 miles an hour. This is when the damage gets considerable. Cars can actually be flipped over here. Most power poles, they're gonna get knocked over. Large trees, they get uprooted. And yes, the roof of your home can even be ripped off in an EF2 tornado. Next, we have the major tornado. Severe damage with an EF3 tornado. Winds up there between 136 and 165 miles an hour. Vehicles actually get displaced or moved. Most standing objects are just toppled over. Entire floors of a home can be destroyed. And bark can even be stripped from the trees. Then we get up to the EF4 tornado. 166 to 200 mile an hour winds. This is when we see extreme damage. Most homes are just leveled with an EF4 tornado. Much of the landscape is completely stripped of vegetation. Trees knocked down, cars thrown into the air. Extreme damage here. And then, the most violent storm on earth, the EF5 tornado with winds of 201 miles per hour or greater. The grass can actually get ripped up from the ground with this EF5 tornado. Homes, they're completely swept away. The only thing left, the foundation. That's why you gotta get underground with these types of tornadoes. And concrete, say on the roads, blacktop, even ripped up from the ground with the incredible damage of an EF5 tornado. So now's the time to make that plan. Where would you go in the event of a tornado? Safest place, lowest floor of your home, underground, the best bet, and try to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible because we are, of course, in the heart of tornado season.